Ska den gasa på igen? Well, it is nice to finally be able to say that now that I've completed the Mats K on Boti and I've finished the majority of the goals that I've had in the game over the past few days, I can now turn my attention back to the Hardcore Iron Man we made on the release of Hardcore Iron Man and an account that we've actually left completely dormant since the release of Raids on the 5th of January. When I logged back into this account a couple of days ago, it said that I hadn't logged in for 54 days. And now I'm very happy to say that this is going to be probably the primary account that I'm playing on the game uh, for the next couple of months. I currently am very, very motivated to see how far I can take a hardcore Iron Man with the one life I've got to see if I can achieve things in a few months from now that puts me as one of the better hardcore Iron Men in the game. Obviously, I haven't played the account much, but the thing with Hardcore Iron Man is most of the people that are playing it continuously are dying slowly one by one. Meaning if you can hold on to that one life in a long term, you may become one of the better Hardcore Iron Man in the game. Now, my initial goals on this account was to actually go and rush Ranger Boots as fast as I could. Um, obviously, with the level 2 grind, I did actually achieve those Ranger Boots just before Raids came out. It was three days before Raids, I believe I got those. And I never actually uploaded the video because when Raids came out, I was doing Raids 18 hours a day and I was not uploading YouTube videos because I was raiding constantly. I didn't really have the time because I was focusing on my time in Raids. And then when I recorded all my Raid footage, I never uploaded that either. And that's why I'm freaking garbage at YouTube. So let's, it's good we got that one straight. But... My, with the initial goal obviously being the Saradam I mean, in God Sword, I did Ranger Boots first because I wanted the best in slots boots before I actually got to Zilliana. Now I've changed my mind. I'm actually not going to be going for the Saradam I mean, in God Sword anymore as a short term goal. I now, like I said, want to see how far I can actually take this account in the game. I really want to maintain that one life and I want to get this account up there to a very high level. And if not, just take this to be one of the better hardcore Iron Men in the game until I either manage to fall and lose the life or everybody else falls and loses their lives. I really, I mean, I could die tomorrow on this account. I really don't know. That's the fun of the hardcore Iron Man. You never know. You can be the best hardcore Iron Man in the game. The next day, once you're dead, you are the worst. You, you aren't even in the high scores anymore, unless you're obviously one of the dead ones, but your account just is laying there. And obviously you can't progress any further from that one. So what I wanna do is just really see how far I can take this account. And just to plug you all in for anyone that may have uh, fallen out of date with uh, what we actually were doing on this account. Basically, once we finished off the Ranger Boots, which obviously we saw in this video, we did finally achieve. I did that goal quite early because I wanted to obtain myself the God Pages for a Zamorak book and an Armadil book to take to Armadil, to Saradom in God War, sorry. Uh, and also get all the Adamant and Green Dehyde, Fire Battle Staffs, all that stuff so that I could ALK them to have a nice early cash stack on the account. While doing Eclectics, obviously for the level two clues, I also got tons of supplies that I can use in the future as well, which should come in handy for when I take the account out of the stage it currently is now, as it's like level 50 or something, and I wanna see where I can take it. So my plans right now is I need to go and runecraft myself a lot of nature runes to alcohol these items. I could sell them in a store like in West Ardy, and I'm obviously not gonna go to the bandit camp, but when I make accounts, I like to take the long-term goals that are gonna lead to the long-term benefits really. Doing the mining for the pure essence, runecrafting the nature runes and then alking them gives me mining, runecrafting and obviously magic experience as well, which always helps out in the long run. So that's why I'm going to take that goal and it should take me a couple of days to knock that out. Once I get everything out as well, my cash stack will be really, really tasty. And while alking things, I'll probably be running agility courses as well to try and get my agility up there, which will be nice. But other than that, I've decided to scrap the goal of the Saradam I mean, and God Sword in the short term. I'm actually going to be focusing on recipe for disaster and then pushing that towards getting myself 85 Slayer Normally, the way I build my account, I'm getting 99 strength, 85 slayer in the same way. And then pushing that on to even get myself to max melee and then looking to do PVMing, especially raids on a hardcore Iron Man. You can't lose your hardcore Iron Man status in raids. So I really want to do a lot of those and see what loot I can actually pull out from any of the chests and get my hardcore Iron Man on the board. I'm not so far, not so much looking forward to the skilling aspect. I've just finished the max cape, so I kind of want to chill out on that. But I would happily max this account in the future if I can get it to a stage I'm happy with, PVM wise. Max cape on this account, if I ever do it, will be very, very long term. And it probably won't even happen until I've got all the PVM drops in the game. Because there's no point in me getting a Mats Cape and then dying on the account while doing bossing for the items I think are more impressive on a hardcore Iron Man. Because you can get a Mats Cape quite easily and never risk death because you're skilling. But the PVM items, once you see these hardcore Iron Men walking around with these really 
expensive but powerful gear that you know they've risked their life for to get, but actually got it. Now, fair enough, they might have killed three Grados and have all of the full set. That happens to people. But then you get the people that kill a thousand Grados and get nothing. Like, it took me a long time to get the freaking Bandos boots on Peckish Whales, so... Sort of that situation, and I died many, many times doing all that. So I really need to adapt myself to RuneScape and see where I can stand in RuneScape for now. But other than that, I'm going to try and maintain with my one life and see where we take the Hardcore Iron Man. So the bulk of the videos coming out on YouTube for the next couple of weeks are probably going to be Hardcore Iron Man progress video updates, along with transitioning old Boaty from the current stats he's got into the Zerka build, so we can start doing the PK commentaries properly on that account. But other than that one, this has been an update video on uh, the Hardcore Iron Man. We'll be playing this a lot over the next few days. So if you've enjoyed the progress videos, they will be coming and they'll be on the way. Thank you for watching, guys. And I will see you all in the next video.